So we're in Jerusalem outside of the psychiatric committee meeting that took place for Joel today. And hello. Hi. And you are? In Balboron. And what kind of lawyer work do you do? Um, I'm, I'm doing, um, you know, everything that has to do with relationship between the citizen and authorities. Because authorities has uh, enormous power over citizens and you have to use uh, the rules of administrative law to uh, um, you, you know to um, balance this power and okay. you know to protect human rights uh, against procedures that can take someone's freedom in this case. So in the case of Joelle we understand because it was the, the readers read yesterday that she was just literally went to Aliette Chaquette's did a protest and ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Uh, that's kind of how it went. Um, have you any more that you can tell people how she got here and is she dangerous? And No, no, she's not dangerous. I mean, uh, uh, the whole thing with dangerousness is... Um, okay, let me tell you about this dangerousness thing. Um, until 1991, uh, uh, the authorities, the health authorities, could hospitalize a person in a psychiatric yard uh, if he's mentally ill. And since 1991, uh, uh, the law added requirements and now he has to be also dangerous. Now, uh, most people that have mental issues are not dangerous, and, but in order to justify the mental hospitalization, uh, they have to mention in the record that they're dangerous even if they're not. Because only if you mention that they're dangerous, that, that's the way the hospitalization can take place. So uh, ever since the law has become more uh, like with more strict uh, uh, demands to, from the authorities to hospitalize. Uh, Everybody's dangerous suddenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, I mean, is dangerous and it can be absurd sometimes. Like so uh, let's, someone let's, can let's, like raise his voice or raise his hand or make a threat that each one of us does like see I'm I'm not through with you or I'm gonna get you but what what did I say right now I can, I can make you shame on Facebook it's not it does not mean necessarily that I'm gonna hit you or you but, need to be locked in a psychiatric yeah unit. exactly what they do is take every you know minor insignificant threat or every you know hand gesture which is too you know grotesque and turn it into a violence. Into I mean, a crisis. Yeah, can I, can I ask, not can really I ask you, uh, what happened in the case of Joelle then? What's going to happen to her today? Okay. And what we've read is, this is scandalous. I mean, she literally yeah. just protested quietly. Yeah, yeah. And the next thing she's in hospital. Is there a connection between what she did and why she's in hospital? Um, see, in Israel, it's very um, uh, popular for citizens who are unhappy with authorities, decisions of authorities, to protest either in front of the minister's house or in front of minister's office. Okay. She chose to protest instead of in front of minister's office. I mean, okay. she didn't even go to her house, some people do this. She stood there quietly. She just protested and she wanted to talk to the minister. And many people does this in all areas of life. They okay. demand to speak to the, to the responsible minister. So why did she um, suddenly get seized by an ambulance on the promise that she was going to see Aliette she kept that evening she went home to have a shower the next thing she's been grabbed by two people in an ambulance and taken for questioning um, I guess it's uh, the authorities did not um, um, internalize the, the um, that Enforced hospitalization is a very severe uh, method against, you know, it's a very severe uh, and aggressive action An against abuse human against, rights. Against and human rights. Many, you know, procedures and cautions and uh, uh, administrative stages has to be taken on the way to make it, you know, um, uh, to hospitalize only if there is justification and. Um, is there justification for Joelle? No, she, she None. Th there's no disease, there's no violence. I mean, legally, there is no justification. I mean, some, I mean, there is a thinking that if you don't like someone's behavior, 
or if you don't like someone thinking if you know someone is um, seeming a bit old a bit weird a bit you know you wouldn't it's do not what an he excuse. does so c can I ask you what's yeah. going to happen to Joel today do you think when the decision comes we we hope I mean we're three lawyers three lawyers yeah, three journalists and, boy, busy yeah. day. and the TV coming yeah. tomorrow and no we, small story uh, make argument to free her and the, the hospitalization has no legal uh, basis whatsoever but okay. you had a fight it's it's been an hour and a half in there you were at least an if hour and a half they're not freeing her we're going tomorrow to this court to go on appealing I mean this is outrageous no, this is outrageous no a grown base. woman she's I mean, a grown woman it, see there is a law that says what are the uh, 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 criteria to hospital as a person. Okay, we're going back in for the decision. Okay, so we're going back in for the decision now. Let's hear what's been said. I mean, How do you feel about these violations? They, uh, they, they free her, because if they're not, we're going to this court. I have one question to ask you. People outside really um, believe that Israel is a full democracy, the human rights are out of this world, and people don't get abused in the way that um, I write the stories. What do you say to that as a lawyer? Do you agree that uh, it's perfect? Not. I mean, in all areas of administrative law, there is abuse before, before, before. of power. Okay. I mean, it happens uh, in taxing, in municipal taxing, for example, you know, that in municipal taxing, a person can own a store in the year of uh, 1985, okay. and he did not pay some kind of municipal tax, and after 30 years, the municipal authorities all of a sudden remember this and come to okay. collect the debt with interest. Let's go and get the decision. Worth, uh, Let's get the decision. Thank you. Thank you.